the challenge of actually making it something that is available to everyone on all forms of transportation and beyond, it's, a, it's an incredible mission to be a part of. I've been in the transportation industry my entire life, and I've actually been a part of the evolution of passive safety to now proactive safety and ultimately to autonomy. Complexities are even larger than they were, let's say, 30 years ago, because you've got all the interactions of all these algorithms that are controlling all of these systems that are interacting. The decade of this very smart, intelligent group of people working on the technology to bring it to life all along, they've known that for a product to then have the success of the mission, which is to prevent accidents and save lives and drive the potential for autonomy, means that it needs to be perfect. There's no room for errors. We have been working on IETF certification actually for well over a year. It's a universal standard in the automotive industry. From a documentation release perspective, we are um, about at 80%. We're looking to have our first external audit by a registrar in 2022. So it's quite a journey. It drives higher customer satisfaction, more repeatable control over your business and your business results. When we started the development of this technology, I don't think anyone anticipated how well received it would have been in the industry. I think our suppliers so far have seen through the recent build activity that we're doing that we're the closest in the industry to a production environment. Luminar acquired Black Forest Engineering in 2017, and then we recently acquired Optigration. And by bringing in this technology in-house, we're able to vertically integrate those components and those design aspects into our function, which gives Luminar an extreme competitive edge. And as we scale the business, we'll lead to further opportunities. We've tapped these suppliers based on their technical capabilities, their manufacturing footprint, and their location around the world to optimize our supply chains. Through the Volvo project, we're finally able to achieve a process of standardization that we'll be able to carry on to other vehicle platforms and other customers. And by doing this, this gives us a competitive leverage by optimizing that design through millions of vehicle opportunities to maximize the cost, performance, and benefits. One of the key attributes to our design is creating components that are going to lead the market and lead the industry going forward in this technology. It gives us an edge because we manage our own technology at this point. We have complete interface on how we do our designs, how we need to manufacture the product. They're fully integrated in terms of our cost structures and cost expectations going forward. And then we have much more control on how we achieve economies of scale with them as we go forward. What we've done to secure our supply chain, even though our designs have recently been frozen, we were very successful in working with our key partners to ensure that we had 100% of our product available, and then also working on activities and strategies to ensure that we've got supply-based securization going into 2022 and also 2023. I mean, just the, uh, the technology advancement that's occurred to build one of these and then to be able to do so repeatedly and then get the performance in any, you know, being vehicle agnostic. I mean, it's an incredible feat. It's really one of the main reasons why I'm here. The entire Luminar team is all about making sure that we deliver to the commitments that we have to the variety of uh, customers that we have across the globe. Uh, we know that we've got a, a steep challenge. We're up for the challenge and we'll be relentless in terms of our uh, commitment to ensuring that we bring a, a strong commercialized uh, product to the market.